there are different treatment modalities in which the psychotherapy could be done. So, here we are briefly talking about different type of psychotherapies. The choice of psychotherapy is depend on to the patient's particular illness as well as the circumstances, his or her preference and side by side it is also dependent on the therapist choice as well. In certain situation, therapists choose a certain therapy and if it did not work, they go for another one. So, therapists may combine elements from the different approaches to best meet the needs of the person who is receiving treatment. So, sometimes we also combine different psychotherapy, but some of the basic are hereby. CBT as known by cognitive behavior therapy is one of a very popular technique in psychotherapy. It helps pe people to identify their change in their thinking pattern, in ke behavior pattern ke change. Jo cognitive distortions hain, jo unke liye harmful hain, ye therapy unko uh, identify karti hai aur unki cognitive distortions ke upar kaam karti hai aur unko replace karti hai with the accurate thoughts and more functional behaviors. At times we just think about things in all and none, white and black and we say that we are magnifying the problem or either minimizing the problem. So, this is the therapy which is going to deal with all these issues and it can help a person to focus on current problems and how to solve them. So, basically CBT aapke current problems jo hoti hain, unko solve karne ke liye bahut effective psychotherapy hai. Then comes the IPT known as interpersonal therapy. It helps patient to understand underlying interpersonal issues. Baaz ukaat aapke interpersonal issues jo hain, wo itne overwhelm ho jate hain ki wo aapke life ke baaki saare corners ko disturb kar dete hain. So, interpersonal therapy, agar kisi ke underlying interpersonal issues ki wajah se uski life ke dousre uh, domains hain, unme problem ho rhiye like workplace, like marital issues and things like that. So, waha par pehle interpersonal psychotherapy ke through uski interpersonal issues ko solve kiya jata hai. Aur uski jo unresolved grief ho sakta hai, uska change in social and other work role ho sakta hai, loss of a sibling ho sakta hai, loss of a loved one ho sakta hai, kon conflicts ho sakte hain apne dear ones ke saath interpersonal therapy unko tap karti hai, unko solve karti hai and it help people to learn healthy ways to express emotion and ways to improve communication and how they can relate to others. So, jab interpersonal aapka jo pura section hai, wo heal ho jata hai, to baki cheeze asaan ho jati hai. Then dialectical behavior therapy. So, basically this is often used to treat people with a chronic suicidal thoughts. And people with borderline personality, depression, eating disorder and PTSD. So, these are the things just mein aap behavior ko dialect karte hain aur individuals ko un cheezon se behter approaches ki taraf le kar aate hain aur aap unko nai skills se kaate hain taake wo personal responsibility le sake taake unka unhealthy or disruptive behavior jo hai wo ek positive practice mein change ho sake. Then a very well known psychotherapy, we know that the, the idea is based on the mental well-being which is being influenced by childhood experiences and inappropriate repetitive thoughts or feelings that are unconsciousness. So, ye childhood experiences or unconscious behaviors to hai, in ko tap karti hai ki agar hum waha par ja ke problem ko resolve karenge, so we will come up with a better solution in the present. Then a person works with a therapist to improve self-awareness and to change the old patterns, the habits and he is going to take the full charge of his life. This is how the psychodynamic therapy works. Psychoanalysis is the sub uh, domain of uh, psychodynamic approach and uh, it says that uh, it is it's a kind of the in-depth talk therapy. Just me aap apne unconscious ke sare materials ko jo aapki deeply buried thoughts hoti hain jinke baare mein kabhi baat nahi ki gai hoti unko limelight mein lekar aaya jata hai and at times just bringing those unconscious thought to your conscious mind they automatically get solved then it aims to bring the repressed experiences and emotions often from childhood to the surface and then they need to be examined sometimes client ko khud bhi nahi pata hota ki unke paas ke aise kaun se experience hain jo unko present mein problem create kar rahe hain so by doing the psychoanalysis it helps to uh, lead them towards a better life. Then a supportive therapy is uh, another very important thought therapy and it uses guidance and encouragement to help patients to develop their own resources. Like the support is around them but they are unable to tap those, those resources. So the su supportive therapy helps them to engage themselves 
by looking up to those resources and collecting them all together and using them when they are needed yani wo khud jot down karte hain ki wo kab un resources ko acquire kar sakte hain jo unke ird gird hain lekin unhone pehle kabhi soche nahi it helps to build self esteem reduce anxiety and strength coping mechanism and in return to those things they it improves their social and community functioning बाज़ अवत एक छोटा सा इशू होता है लेकिन चूँकि आपको कभी किसी से हेल्प मांगने की आदत नहीं होती तो आपको लगता है ये एक बहुत बड़ा प्रॉब्लम है तो सपोर्टिव थेरेपी डील्स विद द सच माइनर थिंग्स एंड इन रिटर्न टू दिस थेरेपी द ओवरऑल फंक्शनिंग ऑफ एन इंडिविजुअल्स इम्प्रूव सो दीज आर द थेरेपीज विच आर बींग यूज एंड दे आर वेरी इफेक्टिव इन डीलिंग विद ऑल द इंडिविजुअल्स हु आर गोइंग टू डिफरेंट मेंटल हेल्थ कंडीशंस